Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today, it's with great pride I'm unboxing Q Acoustics brand new bookshelf speakers, their Q3020i's. Destined to replace the 3020s, these lovely new bookshelf speakers are brand new and only just arrived in the country, so it's excellent to see them so promptly and up uh, in an unboxing channel like this. Now, Q Acoustics, of course, may, uh, designed and engineered in uh, the United Kingdom, made in China. Excellent and exacting standards as far as their build. These sort of mid-sized bookshelf speakers are one up from the little bookshelves, the 3010s, which I've just done an unboxing video of. Uh, these are probably the first that I would say would be the most uh, sort of more suitable for music. Um, and have excellent bass timing and, and, and control to them, despite the fact they're a bookshelf. We're going to be unboxing these in the alternate colour, which is a white. Uh, so it's good to see both comparing the 3010s and these, the two colour options that will be widely available. Okay, so looking at this. Firstly, the box, very muted brown box. It's got some basic information designed in the uh, UK, uh, Q Acoustics' um, website. On all sides are some basic information about the speakers, and on each end, the model and serial number information in the scan. Uh, opening these is very, very straightforward. There's nothing difficult about opening a box that is sealed with sellotape. I say to lift and do that sort of thing so you don't damage the speaker in the side. Looking at it, really, really easy. These are great speakers um, and well packaged. We've got a basic user manual that introduces you to the whole 3000i series. There's a couple of languages in there and it's in a Ziploc bag. Some basic polystyrene and rather than lifting the polystyrene out we're actually going to roll this over and carefully take the box off the product okay so look inside you'll see the last of the polystyrene and off that goes in between the speakers there are a couple of desiccant bags and floating around somewhere probably in the box are the two port wads that come with these as well okay now these are identical, so what we're going to do is firstly show you the seal on the bottom. This is the bottom of the rubber feet. Put that off to one side. Get rid of the basic polystyrene packaging and start to concentrate on the speaker itself. Now on the bottom, as I showed you, there is uh, some basic sort of things as far as uh, how you might lift this product in and out of the box. In fact, it actually says, hey, look, don't lift it from the front and back because potentially you could put your fingers in the tweeter saying pick it up from the sides. Obviously, lifting the box over it uh, makes that probably easier again. There's no elegant way of really opening this, giving it a gentle tug. It's not going to work. Just tear it. Um, hopefully, you don't tear too much of the packaging or the bag, but there is really no easy way of getting into these. The seal is designed to ensure that you know that these products have never been opened before. Sort of that, that seal, fat, factory new seal. Okay, rolling these over. And have a look at them. Firstly, this is their, their Polar White, or whatever they want to call it. It's a laminate finish, very hard wearing. And a uh, polythene, polystyrene, bubble paper sort of stuff to protect it, and the magnetic grill. Spinning it around, having a very brief look. Firstly at it, we've got the beautiful white finish, and a lovely silver grey grill. Again, this is a magnetic grip, so you can see I can slide it off and put it off to one side, revealing the drivers that are within. Excellent tweeter, and the larger uh, mid-bass driver that is now featured in the, in the 3020s. There's, this is slightly recessed, and uh, if anything, the tweeter is slightly proud. This is to help with time alignment of the sound of the frequencies to you. And beneath them is the Q Acoustics logo, initially protected with one of those beautiful little plastic things that sort of sellotape covers. Love, love taking those off. Rolling around to the side, you'll see that these speakers are comparatively uh, deeper than some, uh, but overall not a very large box. Spinning around seeing the back, we'll see the two-tone rear. The port and binding posts are in the alternate grey to match the silver grey front. They're a very shallow binding post as well, so putting these close to a wall or up on a bracket is really quite easy. And the quality and fix and fitting of these is excellent. Very straightforward as far as getting them nice and tight. They take bananas, bare wires and a spade as well. The port, a little bit of information about the product is stamped around it, 20 to 75 watts. Model and serial number information and the fact that they're 8 ohms. Hang around again, we'll show some close-up photographs of this. 
there's the other side, and rolling them over, this is where we start to see some of the workings of the speaker, I guess. The pre-fitted rubber feet can be removed if you're putting these on stands, and it's tapped for two locations for stand or wall uh, mount features. Okay. Spinning it around and again having a quick look, we see the tweeter and mid-range driver, just recapping for a moment, and we see the beautiful finish on this box. So, here we go. Uh, unboxed here at the Listening Post Christchurch are the new Q3020i beautiful little bookshelf speakers from Q Acoustics. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.